Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we integrated the admin template in our Laravel project. So in this tutorial, we are going to let the admin add category for the product. So here we are going to have a category option and when the admin click on that category option, it will take the admin to a certain page where the admin will be able to add the category. So for it, let's go back to our code and first of all, we will go to resource, then views, and inside views, we have the admin folder. And inside the admin folder, here you can see sidebar.blade.php. So we'll just directly go to sidebar.blade.php. And here you can see the home option. And after home, here you can see table. So instead of table, we are going to say here category. And there is some more option over here. We can just delete a few of them. Just to make it look more clear, uh, let me just remove this login and this demo as well. Let me just keep this on because I will use this in the future. So right now if we save, then if we now refresh here, there you can see we have the category option here. So right now what we do is when the user click on this category option, it will take the user to different base. So for it, let's go back and here for this category, we have a href. So this category is inside a anchor tag here. Let me just write it like this so that you can see it properly. So this category option is inside a anchor tag. So here in this href, we're going to give to second bracket. Then we'll say URL to first bracket to single quotation. Let's say the URL name will be view underscore category. So right now if we save then if we now refresh here then click on category option there you can see in the url we have view underscore category url here so right now what we do is that we need to create a route for this url so for it we'll go to our routes then web.php and here we're going to write a route for view underscore category but before that let's go and create a controller for the admin so we'll create a controller called admin controller so for it let me just go back to the project directory so this is our laravel project and here we're going to open a command prompt we say cmd then press enter and in order to create a controller we need to say this php artisan make clone controller and the controller name will be admin controller and the a will be capital normally that controller starts with a capital letter and also c will be capital so after that if we press enter there you can see it created a controller for us and the controller location will be app http controller admin controller so right now if we just go back to the code then if you go to app then http then controller here you can see admin controller so right now let's go back to the routes and web.php and let's go and create this url i mean the route so let's go back and here let me just copy this route control c control v and our route name is this on view underscore category i'll just copy from here then paste it over here after that, here we are going to mention the admin controller and one more thing we need to do is let me go in the top and here we also need to mention the admin controller that we just created. So let me just paste it here and here I am going to say admin controller. Let's go down for this q underscore category. Uh, we need to give a function name. Let's say the function name will be the same thing q underscore category and we will use the admin controller so right now let's go to our admin controller and create this function so we'll go to our admin controller then we're going to say public function the function name is v underscore category then we'll give to second bracket and from here we'll just return a simple view we'll say return view uh, it will be admin dot category so right now let's set this and we will create a category.bed.php in the admin folder so let me just right click on admin click new file and i'm going to say here category.blade.php control s then save so here let's just write a simple html first 
let's say HTML and in the body I'm just going to say category for now so let me just explain what will happen whenever someone click on this category option it will call this url p underscore category and our p underscore category will call the admin popular p underscore category function and our p underscore category function will return us this view admin dot category which is uh, admin and here you can see category dot bread dot php this one only categories written over here so right now if we just refresh it then click on category there you can see we are able to see the category so obviously over here we do not want to see this we want to see a design like this so for it what we will do is let's go back and here we will directly go to our uh, index.page.php and i'm going to copy everything from here control a control c and i'm going to paste it here in the category so right now here you can see we have the header sidebar and a body part but for the category for now we do not need any body section but let me just show you how it will look it will just look exactly like the dashboard if we now click on category it will look exactly like the dashboard so what we will do is we are going to remove this at the end of include admin.body from the category.blade.php okay so right now save then refresh and there you can see we have the header section the sidebar section and in the body there is nothing so here we are going to have a text like add category and then an input field and a button here in order to add the category so for it let's go back then here we are going to say form then in this form we are going to mention a uh, div then in this div i'm going to say input type will be uh let's say text name will be category and after that let me mention another d and here i'm going to send input type it will be submit and let's mention a value here value will be add category and we will also mention a booster class here so the booster class name will be btn btn that's a primary so right now if we save then if we now refresh here there you can see we have the input field and the add category button here okay let's have the add category button together with the category so save then refresh and there you can see let's also make some design for this input field so for it what we can do is we'll just go inside the head section so here i'm going to say style then in this style i'm going to mention the input field name which is text so here i'll say input then to third bracket then we'll say here type equal to text then to second bracket and we'll say here width it will be 300 bx and height it will be uh, let's say 70 bx set it then if we now refresh okay i think height is too big let's make the height 50 px and width will be 400 px let me refresh and there you go i think this is perfect so let's have this in the center and let's just add some design so before this form let me just change for a team here this team will int over here after the closing of the form so in this team i will mention a class let's say the class name will be div underscore design so we will write some css for this div underscore design so we we'll go to the style section then we we'll say here called dot div underscore design since this is a class we need to give a dot before it then we'll give to second second bracket so here we are going to say display it will be flex then justify content it will be center and we we'll say align items it will be center so we are just saying that the content will be in the center and all the item in the content will be in the center and for those we need to make the display flex so let's save it and let's go back to the browser then if we refresh there you can see it is in the center 
we can add some padding at the top as well we can just say here padding or we can say here margin or padding margin let's say 30 bx save refresh there you can see there is some gap right now so let me just uh, say here each on tag and we're going to say add category if you now save then refresh there you can see we have add category here uh, before it uh, let me just cut this out here and I'll just write it here save then refresh okay add category I think this is fine uh, I can just mention a color over here uh, I mean the style color will be white let me just refresh here and I think I am okay with the design so right now what you want is that whenever we write anything in this input field and click on add category it will store that category name in a database table but we did not create any table for the category so let's go and create a table for the category so that we can add the category data in that table so for it let's go back to the common from and here we are going to say php artisan make clone we we'll send our models and it will be category and after that we will give here minus m so what it will do is that it will create a model called category and it will also create a migration file for the category let me just press enter here there you can see it created a model and a migration so right now let's go back to the port then if we go to the app inside app here you can see models and inside model here you can see we have category.php and if we go to the database folder in the database we have migrations folder and in the migrations folder we have this category table over here so right now we need to say here dollar table then this arrow sign will say string to first bracket to single quotation it will be category underscore name and we only need to add this single column for the category so let's take this and one more thing we should do is that it is a better practice to mention the uh, column name in the category model just like in the insert here you can see protected fillable name email phone number address password so let me just do the same for the category as well so even if you don't give this it will still odd but it is a good practice to give those so here i'm going to mention this category underscore name so we'll go to category.php model and paste it here and save it so right now we can just close and after it we're going to run this command which is php artisan migrate this command will create a category table in our database so right now if you press enter there you can see running migration create categories table so if we just go to the database our database is this one if we now refresh here here you can see we have a new table called categories and we only have one column here which is category underscore name so right now what we want is that whenever we add a name and click on add category it will add the data in the database table so for it let's go back and here you can see we mention a form here so in this form we are going to mention action then method method will be post and in Laravel for each form we need to mention a type of csrf token so in the action we'll give to second bracket then we'll send our urn to first bracket let's say the url name will be add underscore category so right now we need to create a route for this add underscore category so that we can upload the category name in the database table so let's go to our web.php and let me just copy this then paste it here and this time the route name must be post not get because we already mentioned method post here so right now our url name is add underscore category let me just copy it from here then i'll paste it here 
and we will use the same name for the function as well so we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be add underscore category so let's go to our admin controller and here we're going to say public function add category to first bracket then to second bracket and here in this to first bracket we need to say request dollar request because this is a post method so each post method we need to mention request dollar request in the controller in the controller function and we want to upload the data to the category table right so you know to upload the data to the category table we need to mention the category model name at the top of our controller so for it we need to say here use f uh, let me just show you and then backslash here you can see models we say here models backslash and here you can see we have category.php so we say here category so we are mentioning that table model name so once you mention that table model name it means you will have access to that table from the controller so right now what we will do is we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar data or you can say dollar category you can name it anything then give a equal sign and then just mention the model name of your table so our table model name is category and we want to upload new data right so we need to say here new category so after this what you need to do is we need to mention this dollar category not this one because we are saying dollar category equal to new category it means we are assigning the category model in this variable so using this variable we will be able to upload data to the category table so here we are going to say dollar category then this arrow sign and here after this arrow sign we need to mention the table column name so here you can see our table column name is category underscore name and we want to upload data to this column so we need to mention here category underscore name equal to then we need to use this dollar request over here then we need to give this arrow sign and this time we need to get the data from category.grade.php from here so here from this input field input type is text and here you can see name equal to category so we need to copy this name then we need to paste it here so what it will do is that whenever you write anything over here and click on this add category button it will send that data over here and this data will be stored in this category name column which is in the category table so in order to save it we need to say here dollar category this arrow sign save so this will save the data so right now what we need to do is we need to mention after saving the data why do you want to send the user and we will keep the user on the same page so for it we will say return redirect to first bracket this arrow sign pair so after saving the data it will keep the user on the same page so right now let's save it and let me just refresh here and then let's give a name let's say the name will be main then click on add category they can see it reloaded and if we now go to our database table and in the category table we need to refresh it so right now if i just click on browse there you can see we have a data over here called man and let's say one here woman then click on add category if we now refresh our one here there you can see woman is written over here so we are going to add the category in the database table properly so in the next tutorial how to do is that we are going to show a message over here at the top that category added successfully so that the admin can understand that okay he is able to add the category to the database table so this is all for this tutorial if you have any question or any suggestion you can let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe i really appreciate that and i hope to see you in the future tutorials